Hello, this is Tom Cloud with my bi-monthly precious metals market update. I want to jump right into the debt downgrade that we just received in the last week to thank the most powerful, biggest uh, GDP in the world now downgraded their debt. There are many, many debts, bonds you can buy around the world that are safer and a better net return than we have the U.S. So you're seeing people sell U.S. bonds and move into bonds around that aren't near as much in debt. And the downgrade uh, is going to continue. I mean, it's not with the way we're spending money and, and creating paper money out of thin air. It's been unlike any time in history. No time in history has the U.S. government printed more money than we're in right this minute. And they continue to dig a debt deeper and deeper, even if they're able to slow down, that it still doesn't make any difference until a radical change comes in. But over the last quarter, I've seen Bruce Kamich, Mike Wilson, Carl Icahn, three of the biggest money managers in the world that were all positive for stocks in April. All three have just turned negative for stocks the rest of the year. And certainly when you start talking about Mike Wilson at Morgan Stanley and Bruce Cambridge's own brokerage firm and then Carl Icahn, the billionaire, uh, you've got to pay attention whether you agree with them or not. You've got to look at their potential to be right. And one of them even says he's predicting the SP is going down to 3,000. It's all, it went down 3,500, then back up now, uh, no, not 4,000, but almost. And he's now predicting 3,000, which is about a 28% drop. So you look at this and realize the downgrade of debt will be one of the major effects of the U.S. dollar and the economy in the next several months and years. And I don't see it getting any better. So what does it lead us up to is that our Congress has adjourned for uh, August uh, recess, and they're going to come back, and they got to deal straight in the face with the end of the fiscal year in September 30th, when the fiscal year ends. And once again, we have no money. We've got to go raise the debt ceiling. This happened 60 days ago. Now we've got to go raise the debt ceiling again try to get money now. Here's a figure that is startling. It even startled me when I got it earlier in the week. The uh, credit card debt hit $1 trillion. For the United States, that's 330, 40 million people. Once again, the debt has just hit $1 trillion. The United States government in the last month has created $1 trillion of more debt payment. They're now up to over $3 trillion for this fiscal year that ends September 30th, the biggest deficit in the history of civilization is what we've had. Now we've got this thing ending again, and all of it's got to go through and raise it again. But just think, when you've got $32 trillion, how much that is? When $1 trillion of credit card debt for all Americans together, one trillion. And yet here we are, 32 trillion and running a trillion every quarter in the deficit column. And now all this has to come back to be voted on again. They can't stop it. So what happens is the dollar goes down. We've talked about it for many times. One year ago today, the dollar was at 120 something. Today it's at 102. It's gone down 17%. Gold's gone up 17%. Real assets, something you can't print, can't create out thin air. Real estate, diamonds, gemstones, gold, silver, platinum. These are hard assets where money is moving. China's now, the, they're into a recession and their people see the inflation. They've already started printing money uh, in Japan. And unlike where the Indians have always been in gold. Now the Chinese are coming into gold individually as well as a large amount 
of the central banks that now can own gold and count it as full value. The world is changing. And then we see now the inversion. This is huge. Right now on a 10-year treasury and a two-year treasury note, you can get 1.75% more for the, for the short one, for the two-year one, then that tells you how desperate the government is. They're willing to pay unheard of interest rates to get you to put your money behind the full faith of the government. And I see more and more people calling and saying, we're out of there. We're gonna put it in gold, we're gonna put it in real estate, we're gonna put it wherever. I haven't had a man call last week that took 106,000 out of a, in fiscal cash and the bank started telling him they had to notify the government. He said, I don't care who you notify. I'm not gonna leave it here and lose it. I'm not doing anything wrong. I just want $106,000 out of the bank. And he got it, but he had to make appointments and go for like three weeks to get it. So people are moving that way and this inverted rate has never failed to produce a recession within six to nine months after this big inversion. Biggest inversion since 1982, where the government will pay you more for two, two year money than they will in your money. Unheard of, very seldom heard of. So what we're gonna see now is a fight between the, 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 the Republicans and Democrat on the debt hike. Why are they gonna keep raising debt? We're running $3 trillion Deficits unheard of in the history of the world and nothing in sight. So we're looking at it, the credit card debt's exploding. I mean, all this leads us to believe that you're running out of time to get your assets where you want them. Put them, I mean, if you're going to put them in stocks, put them in there the percentage you want. If you're going to put them in gold, get to the percentage you want. But also remember, there's a lot of banking problems still over 200 ban uh, uh, banks that are on the troubled list. Uh, and you've got to watch that because we saw just two days ago, and I think this is the ninth, I'm doing taping this on the seventh, some reports came in on bank, uh, regional bank stocks straight down, pulled all the stock markets down around it. You haven't heard the end of it. There is a banking problem. It will be very costly when it hits, conversion rate has never failed. We know we've got to raise the debt ceiling, which is inflationary. We know the Chinese are now printing money and they're now gonna build up their military in case they invade Taiwan and the beat goes on. It's a very scary world that we live in. Close with two things. Uh, first of all is you can reach us at 800 247-2812, that's 800-247-2812. We recommend highly for the baby boomers coming out and retiring is to take your 401k and make it into two self-directed IRAs. Dan Scoggins has worked with me for 20 plus years setting up these IRAs with you and he'd be happy to talk to you, just call the 800 uh, number. But um, we recommend you get two self-directed IRAs, one for your stocks and bonds and cash, and one for your precious metals. And then uh, you can draw out the ones you want to as you need money or are forced to uh, liquidate part of it. So we think that's important. And the last thing uh, I wanna mention is uh, we have uh, Silver Eagles right this minute for $4.90 over spot. Go on the internet and look all you want. There's nobody below $9.99. Ours is $4.90. These are silver American eagles that our normal cost is about $12 over. But we bought many thousands of them and have given you the opportunity to own them. Now this deal could end any time because we've had a couple very large purchases of these. But if you don't have them, it's a great time to pick up. It's 40 minimum. So it's you know, a little over a thousand dollars that you can buy for. We pay the shipping and the insurance to you or if you already have a, 
account at one of IDS's, we'll send it to your account at IDS, either in uh, Canada, Delaware, or Texas, the three IDS warehouses that we work with. So this is an incredible time to call Dan or Catherine at 800-247-2812 because as we all know, and most of us agree, that silver's a sleeping giant, and when it does move, it's gonna go back to 50, where it's been twice, and now it's at 23 or four spot price. So yes, this next move will take you past 50 and into uncharted territory. It's a great time to buy silver when nobody else is buying it. Well, that's not true exactly, but the volume's down when you can now go in and get a big discount on the premium. So we're excited about bringing that to you. We also have a junk silver special for dimes and quarters, uh, Roosevelt dimes and then quarters at the lowest rate we've had in a long time. Check with Dan on that. He's our specialist on that. So anyway, it's exciting times we live in. I just uh, uh, pray you keep working and getting yourself educated, talking to people, but uh, you just got to use common sense and get diversified and be ready for whatever happens. Once again, if you have any questions, call us at 800-247-2812. With this bi-monthly precious metals market update, this is Tom Cloud signing in.